All right, so today we're going to take a look at the reverse hyper, and I've got my lovely assistant, Joanne, who is going to demonstrate the reverse hyper for us. Now, the reverse hyper is an exercise done on a reverse hyper apparatus. If you have access to one of these, you definitely want to incorporate it into your workouts uh, whenever it calls for strengthening the posterior chain, which is everything right through the backside of the human body. Joanne, if you could. So I'm going to get Joanne up on the reverse hyper, and we're going to take a look at how to execute this exercise the way it's meant to be done. All right. So um, we've got Joanne laying down, and her hip is just off the edge. Legs are going to go down as much as her body allows that hinging action to happen. Her head is equally also down. So what, what's going on here is we're actually going to have her raise both the heels up at the same time along with the head. So we actually get, it's called a reverse hyper because uh, typically you see people doing uh, hyper extensions or back extensions moving from the uh, torso. Here we're doing it from the legs. So go ahead, Joe, if you could. So everything's going to come up together and everything goes down together and it will actually start to develop a bit of a pendulum action. So there will be a little bit of momentum. Go ahead, Joe, we can go full speed on this. There'll be a little bit of momentum with this, and that's all good. And the beautiful thing about the reverse hyper is not only is it phenomenal for increasing strength right throughout the posterior chain, um, you can actually control the amount of weight you want to use uh, on this apparatus, which I think is vitally important for increasing strength through that posterior chain. So when you want to improve, for example, on exercises such as uh, your deadlifts, your squ back squats, uh, posterior chain, you can't go wrong with this one. All right, that's a look at the reverse hyper done correctly. We're going to take a look at an intermediate version of it right now. All right, so now we're going to take a, uh, an intermediate look at doing a reverse hyper. If you don't have access to a reverse hyper apparatus, perhaps you have access to a glute ham developer and now Joanne's going to demonstrate using a glute ham developer how to do an intermediate version of a reverse hyper. Beautiful. So once again what we're going for on the reverse hyper is use of the lower torso uh, as a form of the movement. Now Joanne you'll, when she was gripping uh, the bar you'll notice her arms were bent uh, they were bent at approximately 90 degrees, uh, however, that's not um, mandatory. If you're more comfortable with fully extended arms, find something that you're comfortable in terms of positioning. Uh, but notwithstanding, uh, this is again intermediate, which means if you're finding this one here too easy, uh, get your butt on a reverse hyper because that, remember, you'll recall, we can actually start adding weight and increase in the resistance. So once again, Joe, if you could, show the intermediate version of our reverse hyper. Nice. And try as best you can to really get it up whatever uh, range of motion uh, your body allows for. All right, there's your intermediate version. Very nice. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the beginner's version. Uh, Joanne, go ahead right into this. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So the idea is to get your legs as high up off the floor as you possibly can once you've established yourself into the correct position. All right, so come out, Joe. Your hands, everything. All right, so here is the correct position. Joe is going to lie down. Her arms down by her side, and this is key, her palms are face down, right? So the palms are into the floor. Now, what Joanne's going to do is she's going to row, uh, roll onto one shoulder as she puts her hands right at her groin and then rolls back on it. She'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And so now she's got both her hands like this, uh, at approximately at her groin, but completely under her body. From there, what she's looking to do is she's going to press her palms into the floor while she's lifting both her legs up at the same time. And bring it back down. We'll do three of those. Now, believe it or not, the range of motion is a personal thing because there are people who literally can bring it right up onto their shoulders. We call those yogis. Uh, but but um, whatever range of motion your body allows for, that's what I want you uh, focused on doing. That's going to be the beginner's version of your reverse hyper.